So when I started chasing in the 90s, I was just full on adrenaline junkie. It was just about getting in the storm. Hurricanes, they're one of nature's most destructive forces. But to Josh Morgerman, there's something he's been obsessed with his entire life. I think my obsession with hurricanes is something I was born with, kind of like this weird mental tick. And I think that's how it is with storm chasers. I mean, listen, you've gotta be, there's gotta be something strange about you to want to constantly put yourself in danger. You see, Josh is a professional hurricane chaser. Known on Twitter as iCyclone, he's been featured on the Weather Channel, mainstream media, and even has a show on the Science Channel. Living in Los Angeles, it's quite easy for him to chase tropical systems all across the globe. But because of the pandemic, he decided to relocate to, of all places, Mississippi. So in the spring, the whole pandemic was raging and I realized, okay, this, this chase season is going to be different. So I'm like, all right, if I'm going to be stuck in North America, I might as well just live in the heart of hurricane country. And I said, all right, where can I be that's going to be a nice midpoint from where I could drive to any of these places? And that is Mississippi. So then it was a matter of finding the right town and the right house and all that, and, uh, and that's how I ended up in Bay St. Louis. Josh has an impressive track record. He's been in the eye of 54 hurricanes and typhoons, of which five were category five storms. When you're in the core of an intense hurricane, it's, for me, it's almost like a religious experience. You know, as you get closer and closer to the center of the hurricane, it gets more and more wild. And then when you're deep in it, it's just crazy. The sound of it, the howling or the screaming sound, it's, you can't put it into words. It's just something very unusual, just the energy of it. And video doesn't capture it. You know, it doesn't capture the, the vibrations you're feeling in your, in your body from it. I mean, it is like an intense experience. And then to go from that, to all of a sudden in a minute it just calms down and you're in the calm of the exact center of the eye it's just it's a it's a magical experience but out of all of those magical experiences josh says one storm still stands out hands down was hurricane dorian in the bahamas so this was not just a category five this was deep into category five this was sustained winds of 185 miles an hour gusts well over 200 so i went through that hurricane on great abaco island in a little town called marsh harbor it went right through the worst of it and through the eye that was an unbelievable experience and i'll tell you it was scary but chasing hurricanes is not just about getting good video he also collects and freely shares valuable weather data from handheld barometers inside the storm I would say in the last 10 years, that's what's excited me most about chasing, collecting data that make a difference in the science, that give scientists that missing puzzle piece so that when they're looking at what happened afterward and they're analyzing it, they either one, have better confidence in what they thought was happening at the time, or two, that they have a better understanding one that might change their verdict on, for example, how strong the storm was. His data has been published in several meteorological journals and scientific publications. But chasing hurricanes and being on TV is not always glamorous. You know, think of Hurricane Dorian. I was trapped on that island for days, living in my car, you know, like sleeping in my car, you know, eating nuts, rationing my water, you know, and, and it took days to get off that island. Now, was it worth it to me? It absolutely was. I mean, the, the data I collected inside that historic hurricane, that alone made it worth it for me. But for a lot of people, that kind of danger, that kind of discomfort wouldn't be worth it. 2020 has been a busy year and the season is not over yet. So for now, Josh's adventures will continue as he pursues the eye of the storm. For the First Lord Weather Team, I'm meteorologist Patrick Bigby.